Hey, hey folks, this is Nathan here from Jack and Jill, and today I've got a quick experiment that we're going to do. So it was actually shared in our Discord that some people use extremely long prompts versus other people use very short prompts. So what I wanted to see was the difference using Jack. We're going to use, in this case, uh, Jack's one-click blog generator. So we're going to use the same topic for both. And for one of them, we're going to do just a little short uh, audience here. So we've got outdoor activities in Florida is the main topic. And for one, we've got people living in Florida. And then we've got the same topic for the other one. But you'll see here, let me go ahead. I'm going to first paste it in the outline because it's a lot of detail. And you can see here. So this one here. So this is what we're going to paste in the audience. And obviously, I didn't initially intend on people to put them this long or I would have made the fields bigger so we'll uh, we'll consider that uh, in some design revisions here soon but this is what it is and we're gonna paste it in the audience here in a second but self-made self-starter who's accomplished in their career field typically 45 to 89 years old annual income least 5 million they value their time as well as others safety ethical responsibilities relationships they enjoy quality US made products they spend their time boating, fishing, sailing, tennis, gardening, philanthropy. They identify with brands like Mercedes, Tiffany. You can kind of get the idea. So this is a completely different person than just somebody who lives in Florida. Um, you might have Florida man might be a people living in Florida. But this, this is different. This is somebody who likes luxury. They like uh, the finer things in life. So the direction of this article will be greatly uh, different between the two. So I'll punch that up here and we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and click generate article and I'll leave them both kind of hidden right now and then we'll see what the differences are. So here we go. All right, so they both finished up here. This one was a little quicker, but maybe a eh, minute and a half. All right, so people living in Florida, self-made, self-starter, bond-type luxury person. So, let's see. All right, so exploring Florida outdoor adventures await. So, some good old disc golf. So, let's see here. The Sunshine State is known for its alluring beaches blazing sunshine, array of outdoor activities that captivate Floridians and visitors alike. I mean, this doesn't sound bad. From kayaking in crystal clear waters to stand up paddle boarding off sea, this is amazing. So they're like, this is really good content, but it's hitting on something completely different than this one already. So we're seeing outdoor activities, which this is true. Um, disc golf is 100% an outdoor activity, super fun. Um, this is a really good introduction, but you can see that these are two totally different types of audiences right off the bat. So looking at this one, uh, exploring Florida's luxury outdoor adventures. So we're already talking about luxury a little bit more. Florida's long been considered a prime destination for outdoor adventure seekers looking for relaxation, recreation, and reconnection. Stunning beaches lush parks, picturesque, picturesque lakes. So this is great. Okay. So this one feels a little more luxury, especially it picked a little more luxury image too. So we're talking about here. Okay. Boating in Florida, exploring the coast with quality U S made boats. Okay. That's cool. Um, all right. So this other one here, we've got hiking trails in Florida. So again, two totally different audiences. This one, we just put people in Florida. So maybe, you know, people in Florida are more interested in hiking trails in Florida. You know, really, we don't know. And that's why it really benefits to give more detail. So we can kind of see the differences here. I'm not going to read all the way through it, but we can see um, just from the headlines. Uh, the inter internal copy will obviously mimic the headlines. But we can see a totally different type of person that we are really targeting towards. So this one here, it looks like, you know, somebody that's just looking for normal outdoor activities, you know, hiking, surfing, boating, more you know, uh, general folk stuff. Uh, this all sounds amazing. Beachside camp adventures, like this is super cool. Kayaking and canoeing trips. 
amazing. Oh my God, I love the fact that it pulled another image from that same series, that's great. So nature exploration tours, I love all this, this sounds great. So this one over here, again, just totally different. It's just hitting on a totally different type of audience. Fishing adventures in Florida, gear trips. Um, definitely this type of person uh, definitely has more money. Going on a fishing trip is super expensive, so you know, nature exploration tour, most anybody can do all that. Uh, some of this you definitely gotta have money. And when we're talking about Tiffany & Co within the headlines here, that's when you know uh, it is a different type of audience. So this is really cool. So it even mentions the tennis and outdoor activities. Uh, this is this is really awesome. So you can see here, I'll kind of scroll through to the bottom, luxury, high end, uh, all the different things that we kind of talked about within that audience. And then this one over here, uh, very just kind of surface level people living in Florida. So that's it. Um, that was the experiment. I just kind of wanted to show the difference there. And that's literally just keeping the same topic and changing out the audience. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Try out some tests and see what you come up with. Thanks.